Arvis for Bill Arman from the West Coast. I'm here at Elevate in Dallas, Texas. And look who I ran into, Carlos, my buddy from Team Engine. He's gonna give you a couple tips on recruiting, right? I will. All right, so tell me, the speed to lead, what's all that about? Yeah, so one of the biggest tips that we give folks is basically to treat recruiting and hiring like sales and marketing. It's, it's basically sales and marketing, except you know, you're not trying to sell your good or service, you're trying to sell somebody giving their time and opportunity to your company. So step one, it's marketing and sales. You're selling a career opportunity, right? Absolutely. So you have to embrace it like that, spend that kind of energy on it, right? Yep, exactly. It has a big effect on yep. sales and marketing, right? Yeah, and just like I've heard you talk about, Bill, actually, is figuring out what is your company's unique employer proposition. You know, you think if you're selling, you're thinking about unique value proposition. Same concept, but why should somebody work for you? And you know, some people might answer, oh, because I pay them or because I pay them more. And that's an answer, but it's not a defensible answer. It's not a sustainable answer. It needs to be something about what is unique to your company that nobody else can do, about how you promote from within, how you, you know, treat people like a community, something like that. Why do people that work for you today work for you? That's why you're gonna get people in the future. So for the today. speed to lead thing, so yes. part of that, tell me about the timing, responsiveness, that's part of it. It's being unique. A lot of people are busy out there working their funds off, yep. and they don't respond, they get busy and they forget to contact. Yep. So Team Engine automatically reminds, how's that work? Yeah, so basically the way that the software does that is when somebody applies to your job, assuming they meet all the prerequisites of your job, the software will automatically reach out to them on your behalf with whatever message you wanted to say. It's not us, it's coming from you. And what that does is that ensures that you are getting in front of that applicant before anybody else can. So many companies put a job out, get applicants, and then just sit on them for three days, four days, five days, and then what do you the go? They fell away. You go call them, they don't answer, they don't pick up your call. Okay, and so, so you let's gotta get in front of them quick. So let's let's talk about this. So we've got three sure. things, right? Yep. It's marketing and sales. Recruiting's marketing and sales. Yep. Second one, have a unique recruiting proposition. We call it BURP. Build a unique recruiting proposition. By the way, you hit the link below, I'll send it to you how to build one. And the third one is time. Time is of the essence. Show urgency and yep. show that you care and over communicate with that customer. Yep. They are an internal customers. Some, yep. They're going to be a team member, a warrior of your team. Yes. So you got to touch them frequently and a positive communication. Those are yes. three great tips. You got to treat your employees like customers. And that's, that's how you're going to grow. You have it right there, Harvester. Go out there and harvest your potential. Harvester Bill Arman. Harv where's Harvester Ed? I haven't seen him anywhere. Well, we'll know. find him somewhere we'll else. Later. He's probably out having a cup of coffee or maybe a glass of wine. That's I, my bad. Now go out there and harvest your potential.